Welcome to Perionese 2010. In this tutorial we're going to look at the new layer 2 that's available only in Perionese 2010 Pro. I'm going to start by importing a new EPIX glass file that was exported out using the same view and settings from SketchUp. Notice how Piranesi automatically creates a new layer when I use the import command. Both layers are similar, that is the same view and the same settings, except that one has color and glass and the original layer is grey in color and has no glass. For the purpose of this tutorial, I am going to delete the rest of the building and retain only the glass in the second layer. The purpose of this is I can hide the glass at any time I want. I'm going to start by creating a new layer. I can change the layer properties and call that wall base. Click the texture on the base. Notice how I've lost all the shadow definition in the building. The reason for this is I'm using a paint blend mode. I can change the mode to ink and I quickly retain the shadows. To go on to create a new layer and call that shop front. This time I'm going to use an overlay blend mode and click on the shop front. The reason for creating new layers is if you are going to use any different blend modes for different textures, you will require to create new layers. You'll see why later on in the tutorial. I've just created a wall layer and applying the texture. As before, because the layer is using a paint blend mode, I lose all the shadow definition. Quickly change that to ink mode. Existing Perinesi users will find that your all your Blend modes are now available through the layer manager. So you can quickly change them within the layer manager. Creating a new layer called Sky Background. And I can quickly apply, reduce the amount, and that lightens the sky in the background. I can at any point hide any of the textures or create a new layer using an alternative texture. This new feature is extremely helpful for when you want to create different texture different images with different textures just to sh see the effect that the final image is going to give you there you go i can reduce the texture blend and i can switch between textures very easily. 
going to retain the original wall texture. I'm now going to create a new layer. I'm going to call that ink layer. The reason for doing this is I can now go and paint all the textures that use the ink blend mode on the same layer. quickly paint I can create a similar layer and call it overlay and once again paint everything that uses the overlay blend mode at any point I can switch between layers and paint on to the correct layer. I quickly finish painting the rest of the model. switch between layers I can zoom in <coughs> this new feature that was available in Piranesi 5.1. The highlight feature is extremely useful as it highlights the area that get painted so you know exactly what you are going to paint. And quickly finish painting the model. I can now start adding my cutouts. <coughs> These cutouts are available in Piranesi 2010 Pro. They can be bought separately for Piranesi Lite. Notice how the shadows of the model are in one direction where the tree is the generating a shadow in a different direction. I'm not too worried about that as I can quickly change the shadow direction and update that. And there you go. Notice how Perinese is automatically created a cutout layer and all cutouts that you add automatically go onto the cutout layer. I can now add all the different cutouts and quickly populate the model. Oops. I can zoom in and place the cutout. As mentioned, all 